Huh. So, we are continuing the problem. Cash expenses are given in the problem 8,000, 12,000, 10,000, 12,000 and 13,600. 13,600. Here purchase of fixed asset is there only in the month of April. In the month of April 22,000 and 60,000. That's it. Then income tax payment is there only in the month of June. 14,500. Similarly, other expenses. Expenses due and payable in the month of February to June are they are paid in cash in the month following the month in which they are incurred. So one month delay. February ke jo expenses hai wo March mein pay karenge. March ke expenses April mein pay karenge. So 3,000 rupees of February will be paid in March. Then 5,000. 4,000 and last one is 6,000 that's it over now simply we have to take the totals we have to take the totals so 8, 9, 10, 11,000 here it is 10,000 plus 22,000 plus 5,000 it comes to 37,000 Similarly, 12,000 plus 60,000 plus 4,000, 76,000. Last one, 13,600 plus 14,500 plus 6,000, 34,100. Over, now 10 lakh minus 11,000. So it comes to 9 lakh 89,000 is the surplus. How much is the opening balance? It is given in the problem. Cash and all in the beginning of March is 6 lakh rupees. Plus 6 lakh. 15 lakh 89,000. This 15 lakh 89,000 will become opening balance. Here 23 lakh 10,000 minus 37,000. It comes to 22 lakh uh, 73,000. Plus 15 lakh 89,000, 38 lakh 62,000, 38 lakh 62,000 opening balance. Now 10 lakh 20,000 minus 76,000, 9 lakh 44,000, 9 lakh 44,000. 9 lakh 44 plus 38 lakh 62,000. 48 lakh 6,000. 48 lakh 6,000. Now 13 lakh 30,000 minus 34,100. It comes to 12 lakh 95,900. Plus 48 lakh 0, 06,000. 61 lakh 1,900. That's it. So we have taken cash sales we don't have. Collection from debtors. It is given one third is collected in the next month. Two third is collected in the second next month. So here only you have to be careful regarding collection from debtors. Then... Uh, cash payments directly we have taken purchase of fixed asset directly we have taken income tax we have taken other expenses one month of delay that's it now see the next problem fourth problem prepare a monthly cash budget for october to december october november december three months uh, cash budget we have to make figures in lakhs purchases are given 10 lakh 15 lakh 12 lakh 15 lakh 20 lakh then administrative expense 1.5 lakh, 1 lakh 50,000. Same. Income tax payment is there only in October 2 lakh. Research expenses are 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh. September, October, November. Depreciation 2 lakh. Remember one new point. While preparing cash budget, non cash items should not be considered. Because it is a cash budget, we need only cash receipts and cash payments. Non-cash items should not be taken into account. So here depreciation is a non-cash expense. It will not be considered while making cash.
cash budget. So cash sales are given directly, credit sales are given, sale of fixed asset is given. Purchases are paid and one more thing, sale of asset is given 2 lakh rupees in the month of September. But our budget is only for October, November and December. So anything uh, not in this 3 months should not be taken. September item should not be taken. Then purchases are paid in the month following the month of purchase. जो महीने में परचेस कर रहे हैं उसके नेक्स्ट मंथ में पेमेंट करेंगे वन मंथ डिले परचेस आर पेड इन द मंथ फॉलोइंग द मंथ ऑफ परचेस ऑफ द क्रेडिट सेल्स 10% आर कलेक्टेड इन द सेम मंथ 50% ऑफ द बैलेंस इन द मंथ फॉलोइंग द मंथ ऑफ सेल एंड द रिमेनिंग इन द सेकंड मंथ फॉलोइंग द मंथ ऑफ सेल सो हियर कलेक्शंस आर मेड इन थ्री इंस्टॉलमेंट्स 10% आर कलेक्टेड इन द सेम मंथ 10% are collected in the same month. 50% of the balance it is same. For example, 1 lakh rupees are the sales. 1 lakh rupees are the credit sales of January. Suppose, example. So 1 lakh rupees are the credit sale of January means 10% are collected in the same month, January. So 1 lakh rupees ka 10% 10,000. So 1 lakh rupees ka credit sale karenge to 10,000 rupees same month may recover ho jayenge January. A balance kitna wacha 1 lakh minus 10,000, 90,000. Wo 90,000 ka 50%. 90,000 ka 50%, 45,000. That 45,000 will be collected in the month of February. And remaining 45,000 will be collected in March. To 1 lakh rupee ka agar sale January mein karenge, to 10,000 same month mein aajayenge. Or 45,000 February mein jayenge, 45,000 March mein. Uh, maintain a minimum cash balance of rupees 3 lakh each month or a new point Kam se kam 3 lakh rupees minimum cash balance maintain karna Agar 3 lakh rupees se kam hai to we can borrow Because uh, restriction is given minimum cash balance to be kept is 3 lakh If there is less than 3 lakh rupees cash then we have to assume that we have to make a borrowings Whatever is the shortage Come on Cash budget for 3 months ending 31st of December. Problem number 4. October, November and December. Cash receipts, cash sales, collection from debtors. Collection from debtors. Is there any sale of fixed asset is there but it is there only in the month of September. September is not in our budget. Our budget starts from October. So the sale of fixed asset September we should not take. Uh, remaining all other items are given. So only two items we have in receipts column. Now cash payments. First payment is admin purchase. Payment for purchase. Second, administrative expenses. Third, income tax. Next, research expenses. Depreciation we should not take. Cash sales, credit, cash sales is there. Okay. Credit sales, then sale of fixed asset we should not take. Purchases are to be paid of credit sales. Okay. Okay. Only four items, purchases, administrative expenses, income tax, research expense, depreciation we should not take, cash sales is directly given, credit sales we will find out, sale of fixed asset we should not take, purchases are paid, okay. That's all.
only four payments we have. Surplus or deficit A minus B. Opening balance. Closing balance. The new point in this problem is one restriction is given that minimum cash balance to be kept is 3 lakh. Below 3 lakh, if it happens, then we have to make a borrowing. So we have made one provision of borrowing. Previous problem it was not there. The condition was not given. Here one condition is given borrowings. That's why we will take surplus or deficit to this. We will take opening balance, we'll get some balance. If this balance is more than 3 lakh, we don't have any borrowings. If this balance is less than 3 lakh, then definitely we have to make the borrowings and make it 3 lakh. That is the new condition. Right? So cash sales. Cash sales are directly given in the problem. Uh, for the month of October, cash sales are 4 lakh. For November, cash sales are 5 lakh. And for December, cash sales are 5 lakh. Now, the difficulty is in finding out the credit sale, collection from debtors. So, in working note, collection from debtors, we have to find out. One, two, three, four, five. August, September, October, November, December. Rupees in lakhs. Credit sales. Collections. So credit sales are 10 lakhs, 11 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 17 lakhs. Collections. Now you have to be careful here regarding the collections. 10% are collected in the same month. Ten percent are collected in the same month. So ten percent of ten is one. 10% of 11 is 1 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.7. 10% of the every month's credit sale will be collected in the same month. Second, 50% of the balance in the next second month. Now carefully you see, 50% of the balance is same. Out of 10 lakh, 1, 1 lakh already we have recovered. So, 10 lakh may say 1 lakh aage. So, 9 lakh bache. So, 9 lakh ka 50%. 9 lakh ka 50%, 4.5. 4 lakh 50,000. This 4.5 we will recover in the next month. 4.5 will recover in the next month. Similarly, out of 11 lakh, 1.1 we have recovered. So, 11 minus 1.1. 11 minus 1.1 is equal to 9.9. Abhiya 9.9 ka 50% into 50% 4.95. Similarly, out of 15, 1.5 we have recovered. 15 minus 1.5, 13.5. Abhiya 13.5 ka aada 50% into 50%, 6.75. Six point seven five. Same fifteen lakh. Iska one point five nikal diya. So thirteen point five. Thirteen point five ka aada sixteen point seven. That's all.
So we have taken 50% of the balance in the next one. The remaining. Remaining balance in the next third month. Total corrections. Now see here. Out of 10 lakh, 1 lakh we have recovered in the same month. Now remaining 9 lakh may say 4 lakh 50 thousand we have recovered in September. Remaining 4 lakh 50 thousand will recover in October. Now it's done. ये 10 लाख रुपीस में से 1 लाख रुपीस अगस्त में आ गए अब बचे 9 लाख 9 लाख का 4.5 जो सितंबर में रिमेनिंग 4.5 अक्टूबर में तो ये 4.5 ये 4.5 ये 1 ये तीनों को ऐड कर लो यू विल गेट 10 लाख यू विल गेट 10 लाख सिमिलरली 11 लाख 11 लाख में से 1.1 इज रिकवर्ड इन द सेम मंथ अब रिमेनिंग जो 9.9 .9 है वो 9.9 .9 का हाफ 4.95 वी हैव रिकवर्ड इन अक्टूबर रिमेनिंग 4.95 वी रिकवर इन द नेक्स्ट मंथ नवंबर नवंबर में रिकवर अब नेक्स्ट मंथ 15 15 में से 1.5 आ गए तो 15 minus 1.5 13.5 अब 13.5 का आधा 6.75 या रिकवर हो गया रिमेनिंग 6.75 विल बी रिकवर्ड इन दिसंबर दैट्स इट ओके now we have to simplify the total 1 lakh here 4 5 5.60 here 1 1.5 1.5 1 plus 4.95 plus 4.5 10.95 then here it is 1.5 plus 6.75 plus 4.95 13.2 last one 1 1.7 plus 6.75 plus 6.75 15.2 that's it now we'll take we are concerned only with october november december this is october november december these three months we require we don't require all the five months we require only for october november and december so October collections are ten lakh ninety five thousand. Here November collection are thirteen lakh twenty thousand, and December collections are fifteen lakh twenty thousand. That's it. Now we add up ten plus four fourteen lakh ninety five thousand. Here eighteen lakh. 20,000. Here 20 lakh 20,000. That's it. The main complication in this problem is regarding the collection from data. Here only you have to be careful with concentration. You have to again I repeat once again last time. Credit sales are given. It is given in the problem that collections are made in three installments. 10 person are collected in the same month. Remaining jo 90 person bacha. Uska ada 50% in the second month, 50% in the third month. So, three months of collection is 10% in the same month, and the balance of the balance is the same as the balance of 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 same month में आ गया। अब 11 में से 1.1 निकाल दिया तो 9.9 बचा। तो 9.9 का half 4.95 next month। यहाँ पर 15 में से 1.5 निकाल दिया 13.5। 13.5 का half 6.75 next month। Here also 15 minus 1.5 13.5। 13.5 का half 6.75। ये second month में। अब remaining जो balance बचा हुआ है वो third month। अब अगस्त में 10 लाख में से 1.1 1 लाख आ गया तो 4.5 सितंबर में आ रिमेनिंग 4.5 अक्टूबर रिमेनिंग 4.5 अक्टूबर उसी तरह 11 में से 1.1 सेम मंथ में आ गया 4.95 अक्टूबर में नेक्स्ट 4.95 नवंबर 15 में से 1.5 13.5 इसका 6.7
we got the total. Now, payment for purchases. Purchases ke liye diya. Purchases are paid in the month following the month of purchase. Jo mahine ka purchase hai, uske next month mein payment karenge. So purchases are 10 lakh for August. 10 lakh for August. This will be paid in September. September ke jo 15 lakh hai. September ke 15 lakh purchases hai. This will be paid in October. So October 15 lakhs. Then October ke 12 lakh. This will be paid in November. November's 15 lakh will be paid in this amount. That's it. Administration expenses. Nothing, no adjustment is given. So administration expenses are 1 lakh 50 thousand. Next, income tax is given 2 lakh rupees in October. Only in the month of October, 2 lakh rupees. Research expenses are given 1 lakh in October, 1 lakh in November. 1 lakh in October and 1 lakh in November. Research expenses. September ka nahi lenge. We are not concerned with September. Depreciation, ignore, cash sales, credit sales, sale of fixed asset, over. Everything is over. Simply we have to find out the total. 15 lakh plus 1 lakh 50,000 plus 2 lakh plus 1 lakh. 19 lakh 50,000. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 lakh 50,000. Here it is 12, 13, 14 lakh 50,000. Here it is 16 lakh 50 thousand. Now subtract 1495. 1495 minus 1950. 14 lakh 95 thousand minus 19 lakh 50 thousand is equal to 4 lakh 55 thousand deficit. Deficit. Now opening bar. Pani yaha pa bhi deficit maalum karenge. 18 lakh 20 thousand minus 14 lakh 50 thousand. 3 lakh 70 thousand. Surplus. Then 20 lakh 20 thousand minus 16 lakh 50 thousand. 3 lakh 70 thousand. 20 20 minus 16 50. 3,70,000. So here we got deficit, surplus, surplus. Now opening balance. It is not given opening balance, but one clue is given that minimum cash balance of 3 lakh rupees ought to be maintained. Minimum, maintain a minimum cash balance of 3 lakh. We assume that in the beginning of October, we are having a minimum balance of 3 lakh. When 3 lakh rupees come se come rakhana hai batara, the beginning of October also we assume 3 lakh rupees was there. Now, 3 lakh rupees positive minus 4 lakh 55,000. So we are getting minus 1 lakh 55,000. See, plus 3 lakh minus 4 lakh 50,000, 55,000. So you can do like this minus 4 lakh 55,000 minus 4 lakh 55,000 plus 3 lakh. You will get minus 1 lakh. 55,000. You are getting minus 1 lakh 55,000. Now, borrowings. Borrowings ki to sab to zarat hai. Kyunke kam se kam 3 lakh rupay closing balance rakhna. Ya deficit ho ra 3 lakh, 1 lakh 55,000. To how much we have to borrow? We have to keep 3 lakh rupees. And also we have to set off this 1 lakh 55,000. Pahile se minus 1 lakh 55,000 hai. Isko zero banana. Isko zero banana ke liye 1 lakh 55,000 borrow karna. Aur upar se aur kitna extra rakhna hai. 3 lakh rupees. Kam se kam 3 lakh rupees we have to maintain. To wo 3 lakh rupees aur ye 1 lakh 55,000. Dono mila liyo to 4 lakh 55,000 we have to borrow. Borrowings. Borrowings 4 lakh 55 karna padega. Agar 4 lakh 55,000 borrow karenge, to ye 4 lakh 55 mesa 1 lakh 55 minus ho gaye. Ye minus hai. 
तो फिर क्लोजिंग बैलेंस कितना हो जाएगा थ्री लैख फोर लैख फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड माइनस वन लैख फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड यू विल गेट ए क्लोजिंग बैलेंस ऑफ थ्री लैख दैट्स व्हाट वी आर टू मेंटेन रखना है कम से कम तीन लाख रुपए तो चार लाख पचपन हजार रुपये अगर बोरो करेंगे तो फिर यह वन फिफ्टी फाइव सेट ऑफ हो जाएगा माइनस हो जाएगा और बचेंगे थ्री लाख रुपीज अब यह थ्री लाख रुपीज क्लोजिंग बैलेंस विल बिकम ओपनिंग बैलेंस Opening balance of next month. Now surplus three lakh seventy thousand plus three lakh total is six lakh seventy thousand. Six lakh seventy thousand. Is there any need of borrowing now? No. Borrowing ki zarurat tab padengi jab three lakh se kam balance raha to ya three lakh se zyada ka balance hai to koi borrowing ki zarurat nahi hai. Six lakh seventy thousand. This closing balance will become opening balance six lakh seventy thousand. Six plus three nine ten lakh forty thousand. Ten lakh forty thousand. No need of borrowing. क्योंकि कम से कम तीन लाख रखना है तीन लाख से बहुत ज़्यादा है ten lakh forty thousand है no need of borrowing. That's it. This is the problem on. कैश बजट टू न्यू पॉइंट आर दे फर्स्ट द न्यू फर्स्ट न्यू पॉइंट इज रिगार्डिंग कलेक्शन कलेक्शन के ऊपर कूली केयरफुली आप लोग कॉन्सेंट्रेट करना टेन परसेंट कलेक्टेड इन द सेम मंथ और बैलेंस जो भी बचेगा उसका फिफ्टी फिफ्टी करके सेकेंड मंथ और थर्ड मंथ सेम मंथ छोड़ के फर्स्ट मंथ एंड सेकेंड मंथ ये कलेक्शन और दूसरा पॉइंट बोरिंग कम से कम तीन लाख रुपया रखना है तो मैं ज्यूम करें फर्स्ट अक्टूबर को तीन लाख रुपए थे डेफिसिट फोर फिफ्टी फाइव बता रहे हैं डेफिसिट उसमें से तीन लाख रुपए पहले से है ओपनिंग तो वन लाख फिफ्टी फाइव थाउजेंड डेफिसिट में आ रहा हालांकि तीन लाख रुपए रखना है तो टोटल बोरिंग फोर लाख फिफ्टी फाइव करें तो यह माइनस वन फिफ्टी फाइव जाकर थ्री लाख रुपीज बचेगा अब यह थ्री लाख रुपीज ओपनिंग हो गया सिक्स लैख सेवेंटी नो नीड ऑफ बोरिंग सिक्स सेवेंटी एडअप कर लिया टेन लैख फोर्टी नो नीड ऑफ बोरिंग सो वाइल कॉपिंग फ्रॉम द बोर्ड यू हेव टू पॉज द वीडियो पॉज द वीडियो फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड फ्यू मिनिट्स कॉपी इट डाउन एंड देन You can listen carefully. Come on, see the next problem. Problem number five. On first April, the estimated cash balance for a firm is rupees forty thousand. Further details are April, May, June, July, August. So how many months? Six months data is given. April, May, June, July, August.